right, before we jump into the cut, keep in mind that this is pretty difficult. Some of the grips are very odd, so you're going to have to rewatch this tutorial. And so to make it easier for you to rewatch it, I'm going to try not to repeat any information so that you can just skip to the part with all the relevant information you need for the particular part you're stuck on um, in subsequent rewatches. So we're going to start off in straddle grip like so, and we're going to switch it to this grip, which looks like that. Now it's pretty simple. The index finger goes on the bottom of the deck, and using the support of the index finger and the little finger, you're going to slide the thumb, middle, and fourth finger down so they're at or below this invisible halfway mark on the deck. The right hand is going to come over with the thumb, middle, and ring finger, and it's going to split half the deck, like so, downwards, in an interlock position. Now this packet right here should be isolated, it's not moving, only the right hand is, and what we're going to do is kind of a assisted Charlier cut, which will look like that. Now that's pretty simple, you start from the position here, and you move your right hand over like so, outwards and forwards, until you have enough space to clear. And you may notice that you basically get into the same position as if you kept your thumb here and just split the deck like so, but really doing this gives it a lot more flow. Now once we're over here, the right hand and left hand are going to do two things kind of at the same time. The right hand is going to split in a swing cut. Now you want this corner to clear the middle finger like so, so that you can push against with your index finger. You see that slides the index finger across and just gives it more clearance. Now you're also going to let go with all the fingers except for the ring finger and thumb and you're going to grip with the middle finger and index f or little finger on the long edges of this packet. Those three fingers allow you to let go and grip this packet on the corner with your thumb and on this corner with the little finger. Then you can let go so that it's basically free to spin around. This is all going to happen kind of in one fluid motion like so. Doesn't matter if the last parts are a little bit choppy, but really you want it to be nice and quick. So I recommend that you practice that over and over. Now the left hand is going to do a bit of a tricky cut. If you've done the Ernace cut, Ernace go round, or any other similar Ernace based cut, you might have a bit of an advantage for this. But we're going to start out in a base straddle grip and you're going to move the index finger to this side and you're going to move the thumb across the top. Notice that it's covering this corner from this point of view and if you look from this point of view you can still see the corner. Now the um, corners of this deck are kind of deep into the palm of the hand. I'm pretty sure you can do this if you have small hands since I've seen small hands do this before. So don't worry if you have trouble with it. You can always just drill it and work those, work the flexibility. So you're going to pull down with the index finger like an Erdnase go around, and using the middle finger and fourth finger, you're going to push that packet so it slides along the face of the other packet, like so. After a certain point, only the middle finger is pushing that. And when you get up to here, the middle finger stops pushing it, and you're going to have to kind of experiment with how you should move your thumb. I kind of wiggle it up slightly so that it clears that corner. You can see right there. And then it's going to fall on top. Alright, so starting from this position, you'll notice that it kind of puts the hands almost vertical, but not quite. And that's because we're going to do a motion with the hands, which looks like that going to go down, it's going to go up and back. So make sure it's a nice flowy motion. And while we do that motion, an extremely slow motion right here, we're going to split this packet into swing cut right before we split this packet. You can see that's happening there. This one slightly before the other. Now we're going to be re-gripping this packet to the corners as we keep moving it. And you notice that I'm already starting to push with the middle and fourth finger here. 
Now the right hand, as we do this motion right here, it's going to use the ring finger to spin that packet around. This packet is not spun with the left hand at all. It's completely independent, but you want to keep the palms close together to keep the compact feel of the cut. So you can see that spin happening right there. Now the left hand, as you do that spin, is going to clear this packet over the corner and instead of dropping it on the deck, it's going to drop it on this packet here. You're not going to drop it into here, you're going to hold it here. And the hard part is you're going to pinch this packet between the index and middle finger. Now we're going to keep the index finger here, and we're going to bring this packet out like so, and spin it with the ring finger until it's flush with this packet. You can see I've let go of the corners at this point. Now this is where the grips get kind of tricky because what we're going to be doing is kind of pushing this across and doing these kind of folding things right here. The grips here are kind of hard to explain so if you can adopt them to fit your own hands and just pay close attention to how I do it. So we're going to be bringing it around like so. And with this still pinched between the index and middle finger, we're going to push this across with our thumb. And the little finger down here is kind of going to touch this packet and it's going to pull it slightly over into the right hand. Gravity kind of helps too. You can see that packet on the bottom goes into the palm of the right hand, kind of into this position. So I'll show that again, because this is very important. As this pushes across, you can see, as that pushes across, and eventually collapses, so that the base of the thumb is pushing that packet. This packet is being pushed and pulled by the a little finger and the middle finger, a combination of those two, into the base of the right hand. As we do that, this packet is going to be pushed by the base of the thumb up to the right or the left hand index finger. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. You're going to bring your right index finger over to this edge right here and re-grip so that this packet right here is gripped between the thumb and middle finger, but you see that it's kind of deep on those fingers. It's not near the tips, it's deep like so. Same with the index finger here. The middle finger is still underneath this packet. What we're going to do is we're going to spin the left hand away from you like so. You can see that it's going to kind of line up these packets this right hand is going to bring that packet down so that you kind of have a weird looking triangle. Not quite a triangle, but kind of a triangle. All the packets temporarily for only a split second facing you. So you see that right there. From this position, you're going to grab this packet with your thumb and your fourth finger, the tips of those fingers. And you're going to push this top packet Notice that the left hand is only gripping with the index finger right there. The right hand is doing all the work here. Remember middle finger deep there, thumb deep there, tip of thumb, tip of fourth finger, slightly deep on the index finger there, and here. So you're going to be pushing that over to the left hand. You can see that it turns about 90 degrees like so. And as we do that, we're going to kind of drop this packet, this packet, dropping that packet down, and we're pushing it forward with the thumb. So it goes up to these fingers right here. It's kind of like an open, a very odd Charlier grip, but it's like that. I think of it as bookcase uh, grips, or book, um, book grips because it kind of closes like a book. That's the best way I can really explain these odd grips. 
Again, adapt them to your own hands after you look at the finger positions that I use. So remember, this is still being held by the thumb and middle finger. You're going to kind of drag this back like so as this closes that packet and close. And what I like to do is using that momentum of going forward, I grab down here using the thumb and middle finger like so. And I spin this around the index finger, just like so. So I am going to repeat this, but I'm going to repeat it so that you can focus on the hand positions. Don't focus on the mechanics, look at the hand positions. Right hand goes up, left hand goes up, bigger motion as they both go around, Smaller motion as you do all these regrips, all these tiny regrips that you will have to practice extremely slowly to get down. And now this packet, whoopsie, this packet is going to collapse down like so as we do the, all these small regrips. And you notice that I'm already starting to create the triangle, but it only happens for a split second. The triangle only happens for a split second right there. And it brings it around like so. Then we close. At full speed, looks like this. Something like that. And that's Presque Vu. This is a very difficult cut to wrap your head around in terms of the grips and all the different little mechanics. So I really recommend that you rewatch this tutorial whenever you can just to get all those little things um, locked in. And as I said before, you really want to make sure that you learn the finger positions and motions I use so that you can adapt it to your own hands. Because I highly doubt that people with different shaped or different sized hands will have the exact same positions that I had. So once you learn my finger positions, you can more easily adapt it to yours. So definitely best of luck with this cut. If you do perform it, uh, make sure you tag me on Instagram. My username is right there. And if you have any questions, you can also DM me, and I will be happy to help you out with this. So again, press Gabriel.